fear now grips the capital. The situation has entered a new phase. There are some prepared to brave the curfew and to demonstrate in the city centre, but most people have gone home. Reports of gangs looting and robbing has resulted in people coming together to protect their families and to protect their neighbourhoods. Now, it's unclear who's behind the crime, but the result is the same. The choice between protesting and protecting, well, it's emptied the streets. As the security situation plays out, so, of course, does the interlinked politics. Hosni Mubarak, president for 30 years now, well, he's always resisted naming a deputy. It's a sign of weakness, therefore, that he's now appointed the head of intelligence, Omar Suleiman, as vice president. This means if Mubarak now leaves office, someone can take over. They can lead. There isn't the power vacuum. Suleiman is close to Mubarak, but he's also close to the military. So is the new Prime Minister, Ahmed Shafiq. He's a former Air Force commander. The military is inside the Cabinet, and Sky News understands that the next uh, Defence Minister might well be the current Chief of Staff of the military. The Americans are saying, uh, reshuffling the pack, it's not good enough. They're calling for genuine change and reform, and so are the British, so are the French, so are the Germans. But millions of Egyptians, they've now seen the chaos of the moment, and they're quite frightened.